she literally immediately went like this. It's like the girl's got an attitude. Might help if I was turning it the right way. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a weaning essentials video for you guys, obviously, because it's in the title. But I thought I would share with you everything that I've used to wean Lila Rose and the things that have worked for me and the things also didn't work for me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is bibs. And obviously bibs is an essential when it comes to weaning, unless you just wanna keep changing clothes. I don't advise it. So I'm gonna to talk to you about two bibs because first of all, I started off with one of these and you've probably seen these. These are the Nubby, Nubby, whatever that brand is, bibs. And they come in a pack of two, but you can get these in like Poundland. So this bib did suffice for a little while and it's definitely a very good starter bib but I do find it is very hard to clean like if I actually show you up close I feel like I shouldn't because it's really embarrassing but you can actually see there's still food on it it's got really stained around here it's still quite orange I just really struggle to clean it I think because it's so flimsy as well you can't exactly like clean it without the whole thing kind of doing this and yeah I I don't think I explained that very well but basically that was really hard to clean so my alternative which I have recently changed to is this kind of bib so if you guys can see this one you can get these in like the tommy tippy brand this is the again the nubby newbie whatever it is i think this was like six pound fifty and i will say now everything i mentioned i will leave a link down in the description for you guys or something that is as close to it as possible but i find this bib is so much easier to clean obviously it's not flimsy it's not going anywhere it's silicone so it's a lot nicer for them to have around the neck as well this one is very soft i find with the tommy tippy ones it can be quite like what's the word stiff the tommy tippy ones are definitely more stiff around the neck which i thought would be a little bit more uncomfortable for lila rose so yeah i just thought i would include this and just let you know obviously these are cheaper and they are a great starter bib or if you just buy them for like more of a disposable kind of bib or out and about but for everyday use i have definitely found this one is so much easier to clean and yeah it, it's just it's just easier now number two is obviously a high chair or something to sit your baby up in so i will leave two different clips on screen for you guys to see one is my high chair and one is my other little small activity chair that you just have on the ground so basically i just suggest that you get yourself anything that your baby can sit up in that has a tray that you can obviously feed them off of i use that tray for when she's eating and it's just easy to take off and clean and then i will take that tray off and she can just play in that high chair without the tray i have known a lot of people to get those standard ikea chairs chairs where there's like no padding on it there's nothing really to it they're just very basic and to be honest I think that is still a really good idea that is so much easier to clean than what I've got so really it's personal preference I went for something that had a little bit more padding just because if she's going to be sat in it three times a day I wanted her to be comfortable but it really is up to you which high chair you get and what you want to feed your baby in obviously I do have that floor seat as well for the times where she's having a snack during the day but other than that she has her three meals in that high chair so definitely a high chair is recommended when it comes to weaning now number three is the obvious bowl and spoon but I am going to talk about this because now I've been doing weaning for a couple of months I've kind of worked out what works and what really doesn't work so I basically went out and got all the cheap plastic stuff I got the plastic plates I don't have the bowl with me but I got the plastic bowl that literally matches this and I also got the whole range of the plastic spoons as well now I'm thinking about it and I'm like three months into weaning I kind of wish I didn't do that so although I don't have this to show you I am actually going to get these suction bowls that you can get and there's a specific one that I will just leave a picture on the screen right here I will also leave the link down in the description for you guys if you want to go and check this out out yourself but this is basically a suction bowl which you can get in plastic versions as well but I really really like this bamboo I just think it looks very smart but it's not just because it looks smart the other thing I like about this is that the actual spoon is bamboo here but it's actually a silicone spoon it's obviously a lot easier on the teeth and Lila Rose is always biting her spoons and you can actually see around here there's wear and tear to that plastic spoon already and we haven't even had those very long so the fact that these ones have got a silicone spoon I think is really handy obviously the food is probably less likely to fall off of it as well because it just slides right off a plastic spoon so I'm definitely going to go ahead and order those ones because I've heard really good reviews about them but if you didn't want to go for something like the bamboo then I definitely definitely recommend a suction bowl literally the only time I have ever put a plate down onto Lila Rose's high chair she literally immediately went like this 
it's like the girl's got an attitude so yeah take it from me it doesn't matter which suction bowl you get but i definitely recommend a suction bowl so they cannot move that bowl whatsoever so number four is a beaker for them to drink out of and i've had quite a few questions about what beakers i use because people just seem to struggle with weaning their babies onto water i completely understand we had the exact same problem so after trying four different beakers we actually found that lila rose took to the free flow beakers better than anything else we had those non-spill beakers we had the ones where you had to bite and suck we had the ones where you just had to suck in general and she literally was not taking to any of it so literally you can get this one this is a tommy tippy one this was a pound from poundland it's nothing fancy to it you literally put the water in you can do that and it will drip out but it seems to work really well for her i personally think it's really good because it teaches her that she doesn't need to suck to get the water out so when it actually comes to her changing into a beaker you do obviously just pour the water so to me i feel like it's going to be easier to transition her from a free flow to when she's actually just using a normal little cup so yeah this one was from poundland this is the same kind of one i think this is a tommy tippy one you can actually have a little like gadget thing that goes in the bottom here which makes this one a non-spill so if that's something you wanted to try then obviously go for it we obviously took that out when we realized lila rose just preferred to have it free flow this one's very good though because it's got a very very squishy like nip whatever you want to call that so that's really good because obviously babies love to bite those obviously every baby is different your baby might take to the ones where you actually have to suck but it is a bit of a trial and error unfortunately but i thought i'd just tell you what worked for us so yeah definitely a beaker needs to be on your essentials list number five is something that i have literally not been able to live without and that is this little tommy tippy baby food blender so i will leave the link down in the description for this one because i know you can get this one off of amazon that's where i got this one and this has been used every single day since i've got it without fail obviously you can use just a normal blender to blend up the food but i find having it this size is so much easier this is really handy because when you open it up might help if I was turning it the right way. So with a normal blender, your blades usually stay in there, so it's obviously really hard to clean. With this one, it's so much easier. Your blade just comes straight out. You can clean that, and you can clean inside of there. This comes off as well, and that is just so much easier than using one of those big blenders where those blades are so hard to clean. I don't even know how people do it. So this is really good. I don't think this actually costs that much. Maybe 20, 30, don't quote me on that. But this has definitely been an essential. I'm somebody that doesn't really like to give those jar foods or the different packets and sachets you can get so i just like to just cook everything from scratch that's just the way i like to do things so this has been an absolute necessity for me number six is something that i feel like i forgot when i first started weaning i just thought of all like the basics necessities the bowl and the spoon but i didn't actually remember about freezer pots until my mum mentioned it so obviously it's so much easier to do bulk cooking unless you've got the time to cook three meals a day for your baby so freezer pots i will leave the link for these ones down below i think these came in a pack of 12 from amazon or something like that you can get all sorts of different ones you can get like freezer trays where you like pop the food out which i haven't ever tried but they look really good i just prefer to use these ones i just think they're very basic and just easy so um yeah you just basically obviously put your bulk food in there you can just screw that on and that can go in the freezer they also come with the labels as well so that you can put the date and what you actually cook on there they're just the freezer pots but that is something that i definitely forgot when i first started weaning duh obviously you're bulk cooking so yeah freezer pots so that brings us on to the very last thing that i think is essential and that is number seven which is recipe books so i mentioned this one in one of my food hauls which i will leave the link down in the description for again but this has been an absolute lifesaver i have got another two different recipe books this is one here as well but i will definitely say that this one has been the easiest to read it's got the easiest recipes so pretty much all of my recipes come from this one book but i will leave the link down in the description for all the books that i have actually got but i definitely just say get yourself some weaning book so that you can read up what you need to do how to go about weaning different recipes as well this is all in this book which i think is amazing but any weaning book would do anything that works for you but i really do think that is a good essential for you to have so i'm actually going to put in a number eight here because i've just thought about it so this video is actually going to lead on to my weaning video so i get a lot of questions asking how i weaned lila rose obviously as a first time mum i get a lot of first time mums coming to me like freaking out because weaning is actually really difficult and it's also really scary scary so you guys like my formula feeding guide so I thought I'd do the same thing for a weaning guide for you I just want to put it all simply for you guys I feel like we get so many regulations put in our ear and the ways that you should do things and the order that you should do things and to be honest I feel like it just scares us first time mums even more so I want to put it simply for you in another video so do look out for that video when it comes up it will be something like weaning guide or how I weaned my baby so if that sounds like something that will interest you then please look out for that on my channel obviously if you are new to my channel then please don't forget 
forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because it really does help to support my channel. If you think I've missed anything, I feel like I haven't, but if you think I have, then please just leave your comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!